Hi, this is a very special video for today, especially because it's not about what we have in Ozone, but what we can potentially have. So first of all, we should start a very big warning that everything here is experimental and it's nothing more just about a feature branch, not about the Apache Ozone Master. But if you are interested, we can discuss about how it can be integrated with the master. So when we are talking about Ozone and S3, the current architecture is something like this one. So you can see that we have an S3 gateway, which converts the HTTP S3 compatible REST interface to internal Ozone calls, to Ozone Manager and Storage Container Manager calls and, and the real data calls. And what we have under the hood is that we have a very simple internal database here, which contains all of the secrets and which can be used for the AWS S3 API. So for example, if you check a running cluster and go to the, this is a secure cluster just from the master. So if you go to the SCM and you authorize yourself, ETC, security, key tabs, let's say I'm using the test user, you can generate a secret for yourself and it can be used from AWS S3, if you export all of these environment variables. So in this video, we will replace this one with HashiCorp Vault, which is an external component. It's a very, very powerful secret manager. Ooh, HashiCorp Vault. And instead of using the simple internal secret database, we will use an external database, which is more powerful. It has a lot of features, audit logging, uh, different storage backends, everything. So this is HashiCorp Vault. You can see all of the documentation. You can start it your own. But I already started here in my environment. So this is a very standard Ozone Secure environment, but I also have a Vault component, which is running. So I can log, log in to this Vault interface. I logged in with the root token here, so I can see everything. So we can check what did I configure here. First of all, I have a secret store here. So under the S3, I have I can have multiple secrets, and you can see. Oh, it's not so not very secret actually. We can also check the identities. So you can see that I can log in with GitHub and token without any Kerberos. No Kerberos in involved here. I can log in just with the GitHub. So I already logged in with my GitHub user, and you can see that I promoted myself to an S3 manager which means that I can create, list, read, and update all of the S3 secrets. Well, I can have more sophisticated ACL policies here just to create um, secrets for myself or for one organization. Currently, I can manage all of the, the secrets. And I have as other policy, this one, which can read all of the secrets. So this one, which will be used by the Ozone Manager itself to read all of these secrets from, from Vault. Okay, so how does it work? First of all, we can log out from here and we can log in with the GitHub. So the way how does it work that it's not a real old old authentication, but you can just uh, authenticate with any GitHub token if you have permission or read permission. So let me authenticate. So this is my user. It's 
a restricted user, you can see that I couldn't check the policies, for example, but I have permission to the secrets. So I can just create a new secret. Okay, let's say this is a new secret. I need some random number. So let's use this one. So this is a new secret, which will be used by the ozone itself. Okay, it's supposed to work now. So let's go back to the ozone. First of all, I need to set it up here. Mm. So what we need is we need export to AWS access key ID, which was LX2, and I need to set up the secret which is in this case, this is very new generated secret. And I can show the configuration to you that in Docker config, these are the new lines. So one which defines the vault backend. The other one is that this is a very specific token where, where the read only echo policy is assigned to this token. And now we can uh, try it out, right? So let's do some AWS command and create a bucket with this new access key ID and access key. And yeah, it's created. I can also show that if you unset it or if you set something else, Okay, let's try it out if it's really if it if we really have some permission checking. Yeah, and it's not working anymore because I have no permission to create anything. Okay, we have some retry in the background. Yeah. So this is how does it look like? It's a very simple patch. If you are interesting, you can check the code in my fork. So it's like ozone and there is a vault branch and this is everything. But if you start to use it, you can use all of the features of HashiCorp vault, different type of backends, data encryption, different type of authentication, right? I just authenticated with my GitHub account without any Kerberos and I have the full power to manage all of the S3 secret for Apache ozone. So thank you very much to check this video. And if you, if this is not master, so if you are interested, then uh, please add your comment or we can start a discussion in the com community. Thank you very much.